नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू द अनुग्रह दीक्षा सो वी मूव फॉरवर्ड ऑन द पाथ ऑफ हेल्थ नाउ टेल मी वर यू एबल टू डू द साधना दैट वी डिस्कस लास्ट वीक डिड यू रियली बिकम कॉन्शियस बिकम अवेयर ऑफ वॉट इज हैपनिंग विद योर माइंड एंड विद योर बॉडी डिड यू ब्रिंग ग्रेटर अवेयरनेस अबाउट द इंटर रिलेटेडनेस बिटवीन द माइंड एंड बॉडी सिस्टम If you have, it must have definitely been an amazing experience to watch these simple things and yet get to know so much of yourself. By the way, what we need to understand is that modern science is essentially using the mind to understand and to reflect on the external world, and the external world also includes the body. While spiritual sciences. are essentially using the whole universe the external universe which is also including the body using the external universe to understand the self to understand the mind to understand whatever is happening internally and these health series in the arogya diksha are essentially a union between external science and also spiritual science so right now Let us listen to what Sri Bhagwan has got to say to us this week. Daivam sharanam gachami. Oneness is not a movement or a new system of thought. It is the way the universe is structured. Innumerable interconnected and interrelated processes working in synchrony is what we call the universe and oneness is the natural law that shows up throughout the universe wherever there is oneness there is order and when life strays from oneness there is disorder the human body maintains its health in a state of oneness the biosphere maintains its balance between the varied life forms in oneness thus a return to an awareness of oneness in consciousness is awakening a return to a state of oneness where the body is health let us now distinguish between three different concepts floating around in the name of health one fitness two health three wellness fitness is the ability to perform athletic activity health however is a state where all the systems of the body are working in an optimal way namely nervous muscular skeletal circulatory the digestive system etc most people think that fitness implies health but the truth is that they don't necessarily go hand in hand it is ideal to have both health and fitness but by putting health first you will always enjoy tremendous benefits in your life If you achieve fitness at the expense of health you may not live long enough to enjoy your spectacular physique wellness on the other hand is about the body mind and consciousness functioning in oneness within the mind there should be oneness between the various personalities we are divided into any number of personalities which are at loggerheads with each other and hence the inner conflict when there is an integration of personalities there is a return to psychological well-being within the body there should be oneness between the various organs the functioning of every organ is dependent upon the proper functioning of other organs so each organ must be in harmony with the other every organ is for example connected to the spine which in turn is connected to the brain if any one organ is affected there is no proper signal to the brain which in turn affects the entire system thus oneness between the organs is the way to total health in consciousness one must rise to higher levels of awareness to realize the oneness that already is thank you bhagwan there you go You heard Sri Bhagwan tell you that oneness is not the name of a movement, 
nor is it a new system of thought or a new way of thinking. Oneness, Sri Bhagwan said, is the way the universe works. Sri Bhagwan called it the natural law that is inherent in all things. And then Sri Bhagwan went on to explaining to us that oneness ought to be there in everything. And wherever there is oneness, there is order. And if ever a family, an organization, a body or a system moves away from oneness, there is bound to be disorder. In a family, the parents, the children, the in-laws, the daughters-in-law, the sons-in-law and the grandparents. Amidst all these people there is oneness. Is there a discord there? Is there pain there? Is there suffering? Definitely not. Over my 20 years sojourn with Sri Amma and Bhagwan and their devotees, what I have noticed is in whichever family there is oneness between the family members, I have seen tremendous amounts of divine grace flowing towards them. I have seen tremendous amounts of coincidences and miracles happening in their lives. And I have always thought that is because they had oneness with them. Now, if this is what happens in a family, it should not be very different in an organization also, isn't it? And should it be very different within the body itself? Sri Bhagavan called oneness to be the natural rhythm of the universe. Imagine there were a music concert and there we have somebody playing on the harmonium, we have somebody else playing on the guitar, we have somebody playing on the violin, we have somebody playing the drum. If all these people played in different tunes and at different rhythms and they did what they like in the name of a concert. What would you have there? Disorder, chaos, cacophony. Imagine, they were all playing in synchrony. The instruments could be different, but if they all played, synchronizing themselves with each other, if they were blending and flowing into each other, the experience is one of tremendous order. The experience is one that is beautiful even for the brain, for the nervous system, for the heart. And that is what we call oneness. Sri Bhagavan said, you experience the same thing in the body. There has to be tremendous amount of oneness within the body. And if there is oneness within the various organs, between the various organs of the body, then there is ease. There is order, there is ease. If Within the body, within the various organs of the body, there is no oneness. Then there is this ease. There is a disarray, there is a discomfort and there is a disorder. And that is when you can see trouble having arisen. <laughs> Sri Bhagavan in this context went on to telling us that the various organs of the body have to function in unison and they are all connected to the spinal cord. Most of them are connected to the spinal cord either directly or indirectly. And the spinal cord in turn being connected to the brain is all the time sending signals about the various organs to the brain and therefrom health is maintained and regulated all over the body. Supposing any one particular organ in the body also is out of order, then the spinal cord sends in erratic signals and that gets passed on to the brain and the brain in turn passes on corresponding signals. Consequently, the entire body also experiences 
offense of disease and ill health. To make it very simple, imagine there is a family, everybody is happy except the little boy because he has failed in his exam. Can everybody delineate themselves, separate themselves from the boy's unhappiness and say we are all happy, no problem with us? No. We are all the time definitely getting impacted, getting influenced, getting hurt by his suffering also. We are not separate. Similarly, the body also is one unitary organism. Some place something goes wrong, something goes out of sync. The entire body also is impacted. And from there on, Sri Bhagavan moved on to explaining to us about three different issues that go in the name of health. One, fitness. Two, health. Third, wellness. Fitness, you see it everywhere. Fitness clubs, fitness organizations, fitness associations. We are so concerned about fitness because this is a world of images. The civilization runs so heavily on images, so we all are concerned about fitness. Good, not bad at all. Having a good physique, being impressive is very necessary. But then, what happens when fitness comes at the cost of health? You may have a very good physique, but you won't live long enough to experience your fitness if your health is going to fail. So many people in the name of fitness eating whatever comes to them, fasting as and how they like, exercising too much, causing a strain to the heart, causing a load on the nervous system and also on the circulatory system. All this is going to take a toll on your health. Better it would be for somebody to have health and fitness as well. And Sri Bhagavan went on to defining what health is. Sri Bhagavan said health is an ideal state. It's an ideal state of the body where the various systems, the skeletal system, the muscular system, the digestive system and the circulatory system, all of them are functioning optimally, are functioning well. Then you say a person is healthy. And Sri Bhagavan did not stop with this. Sri Bhagavan went on to explaining wellness. Wellness, Sri Bhagavan said, is not something that is limited to the health of the body alone. Wellness is about the health of the mind and wellness is also about the health of consciousness. What is the health of the mind? Sri Bhagavan said that the mind is essentially a conglomeration of various personalities. And within us, there are these personalities that are in conflict with each other that are at loggerheads with each other and whenever we have this conflicting personalities fighting with each other we experience an internal state of conflict if this conflict is going to be appeased and these conflicting personalities are going to be integrated we say that the mind has been restored to health and what about consciousness with regards to consciousness, Sri Bhagavan said, consciousness has to rise to a higher level to become aware, to become conscious of the oneness that already exists. It is not that oneness is not there. It is just to move to a higher plane, to see order even in disorder, to see oneness everywhere. That in fact is what we call awakening, enlightenment or Mukti. This was Sri Bhagwan's message to us all this week. Do we move on then to this week's unique sadhana? I'm sure. You all are ready. So we move on. As I'm talking to you, I am reminiscing 
some of my sweet memories from my childhood with Sri Amma. All the time talking to you, all the beautiful things that we are sharing with each other. Somewhere, we have either got them from Sri Bhagavan or from Sri Amma. There was a time when I was eating my food and I was keeping aside the sweet neem leaves from Rasam. Amma looked at me and asked, You are doing that because you want to keep your tongue happy. How about keeping your stomach happy? How about keeping your liver happy? How about keeping your blood circulation happy? Take care of the whole body. That was one of my lessons about oneness in health, oneness in body. Just as in a family, if there is any one person who is going to dominate, either through misery or through pleasure or through happiness, and the rest of them are going to be subjugated to that person, there cannot be oneness, therefore there will be disorder. Similarly, if any one particular organ in the body is going to subjugate the wellness of the rest of the organs to itself, then there is going to be trouble. And I am sure a lot of us here have surrendered the rest of the body to this one little organ, the palate. Anyway, so you begin your sadhana every day in the morning. What's the sadhana you're going to do? When you wake up, you are in the habit of wishing people around you. You wish your friend, you wish the policeman, the police constable you meet every day. You also wish your boss at your workplace, you wish your colleagues. So why not wish your own body? Now how do you do this? When you wake up in the morning, beginning with your head till your toe, become conscious of every single organ in your body and wish that particular body part. Hair, good morning, how are you? Eyes, good morning, how are you doing? Throat, good morning, how are you doing? Skin, hello there, good morning, how are you doing? Ask them and listen to them. Listen to every organ of your body, what it's got to say to, to, to you. If your body is going to tell you that I'm keeping fine, if your heart is going to tell you, if your liver is going to tell you, if your small intestine is going to tell you, if your feet, your knees and your ankles are going to tell you I'm fine, then you know you're fine. If they are not going to tell you they're fine, then you better listen to them. Probably they have a complaint to register against you. Do this little exercise and that will go a long way towards awareness of the body and therefore towards a great wellness.